Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixplus TV. Hope you're having a great day. As you know, right now I'm running for my hybrid mixing two different converters. I'm running my Moto 8 Pre S as a main interface and then another multi-channel converter as an expansion to have more analog input and outputs. They both sound great, but I do hear the difference in sound between the two converters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to Westlick Pro here in Los Angeles and see what other unit Moto has in their line that I can use to expand my EO on my 8 Pre S. <laughs> All right, I'm right here at Westlake Pro. You can probably see the sign right here. So we're gonna go in and I'm gonna meet with Matt from Motu and let's see what they have in their line. You know I have the 8 Pre ES as a, my main interface and it's time to change the other converter to expand the channel and I want something that sounds as good as that one. All right, here we go, Westlake Pro. Good to see you, Matt, Motu. How are you doing? Doing well. All right, so you know why I'm here today, right? I want, I need to expand my 8 Pre ES interface and I just need something that sounds as good as that because the converters are not cutting in the other one, so. Well, I want you to check out the 16A. All right. I think that's the perfect fit. Okay, here we are, Studio B Westlake Pro. Westlake Pro Studio B. And, and we've got the 16A. All right, you the hooked interface it up already. that I was wanting you to check out. This is really our flagship interface wow it's been on the market for a little while but it's still really one of the best sounding interfaces we make all right tell me something about this so one because i know this. very little uh, but sure. yeah well here's the deal you've got the es which is phenomenal that's a new interface yeah. we make and to be able to add more channels okay i think the best solution when it comes to the 16a is its ability to network so you can see right off the front panel you know rackable and got nice metering here yeah. And you're able to get into some of the controls from the front panel. Everything you can do from the front panel, you can do from software. And the way we get into the settings of this is through a browser. So once you connect the device to the computer through USB or Thunderbolt, uh -huh. you're able to get into the Motu Pro Audio setup to do all the routing, the clocking. It's all done from a browser. So in this case, Chrome or Safari is able to do all the routing. So just like the 8 Pre, yes. Like I can control my interface, like gain, phantom power, routing everything without touching it exactly right. even though i have it on my desk yeah. and if i can take so, a so on the back though i want you to see we've got this interface. connected usb right now to the computer okay so we could connect it through thunderbolt but what i was thinking in your case is to use a cad 5e or cad 6 cable to connect from the 16a to the 8 pre -E. all right that's something that i didn't think about because I, I knew very little about the network possibilities of this series. Right. So my idea was uh, originally to connect it via ADAT. But of course, you can, as you said, you can connect it via Thunderbolt. You can connect it via USB. Mm -hmm. But you can connect it with a CAT6 cable. And I have all the inputs and outputs That's available. Exactly just right. one cable. So if you were using light pipe, which would certainly work as a solution. But when you run it through... AVB or Ethernet, you're going to have access to all the light pipe, all the TRS analog ins and outs, all 16 channels, and a very, very low latency, 0. 0.6 milliseconds. Oh my so God. Very, very tight integration. And then once you set this up, you'll notice in the software, and you'll see this on your system, and AVB streams have to be enabled between the devices. So okay. one stream equals eight audio channels. That, okay. That sampling rate's up to 192 kilohertz. Wow. So you can go, you know, two streams would be 16 channels and so on and so forth. But you can enable... Now, you're Thunderbolt, right? To yeah. To your computer through the ES. Um, I am Thunderbolt when I when I was hooked up to my laptop. I am USB with the PC. Got that I have with sure. Desktop. Well, with Thunderbolt, you can have 128 channels coming into oh, the system. Wow. So it's very expandable. And of course, the great thing about the ES, you've got all this analog and light pipe yeah. with the ES converters. So sonically, yeah. it'll be right there with the ES, the one that you have, identical. And here's the other beautiful thing about this. So let's say, for whatever reason, you wanted to do even more channels or you wanted to put some something down the hall. Right. Let's say eventually you had a tracking room, a yeah. local isolation booth, whatever. We have, we make, Motu makes a switch. Okay. Five ports. Oh, wow. So as soon as you go beyond two devices, you can go to our switch. Now you can have five devices all on the network. You could have computers connect as well. So you could have separate recording rigs all on this network. That's the beauty of AVB. Very low latency and anything on the network can be the clock source. Wow. Every interface has its own mixing environment. It has a 48 channel mixer. You know, we've got EQ 
and compression built right, in. Right, right, into those DSP, channels. yeah. So, you know, the converters, the low latency, the networking, um, and of course, all those channels on the network make it uh, a great solution. Well, I am very happy not only to get this one, but also to put it on video for several reasons because all the people that saw the 8 Free S video, they just thanked me for, That's you cool. know, Showing such a unit, such a great unit at that price point, which is still, I still think it's, you're crazy, guys, <laughs> because it's it sounds amazing. It has such a great features, and a couple of things about uh, this series, like I find the display being extremely useful, um, especially for converters. Even just with the with the pre, uh, eight pre S, yes, mm -hmm. I can see all the channels. I can see if I clip. I can see the fact that you can switch the the view you can see like uh all the channels at once you can see half of the channels half information on what the session is running mm -hmm. so the display is something not to overlook for me it's very useful the fact that i can access uh, the front panel it's great but it's great news that i can use the cat 6 cable for sure that, and, and that what's is great is when the computer's off whatever setup in the mixing environment can happen without the computer coming on so it's a stable right. mixer Right, so exactly. That's another benefit to this. And remember, you can, once it's connected yeah, via AVB, yeah. that either device could be the clock master. Okay. So no okay. problem that way. And then again, very low latency, great converters, and uh, very expandable. Yeah, definitely. And you know, there's one test that I always have to do mm -hmm. because I run my two bus into a couple of units that are gain staging dependent. Okay. Meaning if you don't hit them that hard, they will not sound good. I see. You know, so you when, kind of slam them. yeah, I so when I go out from my converter and I go back in, if the converter doesn't operate at what says on the tin mm -hmm. and the DB, you know, the, the headroom on the converter is not exactly what is stated, mm -hmm. which happens most of the time, I can hear it right away. Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, one of the things that told me like, okay, you know, I need to step up and, and have another A channel at least of, of Motu because, you know, the headroom is just Lots of headroom, More, and yeah. the dynamic range is very exactly. high, above 120, yeah. so you can hit things really hard. So guys, this was the 16A, and we are trying to connect it, we changed plans, we're trying to connect it in, uh, with yeah. the CAT yeah. cable, networking cable, that instead works. of ADAT, which is, is exciting, I want to see how that works. And we'll open up in the studio the interface that you can see on the screen. And they will appear, both of them, right? That's right. Okay. They'll both show up here as devices. Sweet. And then you'll want to make sure that you have input streams enabled so that you can send audio between the two interfaces. Right. So that's not a problem. And also, just so you know, we've tested up to 100 meter runs with CAT6. Oh. So the shielding of a CAT6 cable allows for very long runs. Not that in your rack you'll have a nice short right. cable that you can use, but if you ever needed to send... And so this is why this solution works so well, especially here in Los Angeles. So many studios and tours will have a facility where you have multiple rooms, yeah. you have recording rigs or front of house, and you need to send audio. You know, and so in part of this ABB line, you know, we've got this is the analog digital box, but we have Matty, AES, Spitif boxes. You know, we've got mic pre's. So we've got all this different, all these different assortments of interfaces that connect through our networking, um, and it's just made it very popular and it's very well tested like this, oh yeah this is out on major tours and in major studios so it's, it's, it's the drivers are very well written yeah that's another thing that i always say about motu like guys these guys have been doing it for longer than anybody else there is a reason and the fact that you guys don't change model every other week for me is just a big point it's just not you know you're sure when you when you come up with something it's there to last, yeah, you know, exactly. in, in every sense, uh, in every sense. All right, guys, let's take this home. Let's hook it up in the, in the new desk with the 8 Pre ES and see how it works. And back from Westlake Pro, you saw what I got. Moto 16A to expand my 8 Pre ES. We talked about this one with Matt at Westlake. Now let's hook it up. So first thing, let's see what's in the box. Oh, <laughs> the very first thing, how nice they are at Motu. It's, I hope you can see it. It's a handwritten message from Tina at Motu. Thank you, thank you so much for everything, for helping me out with all the products, with everything. Uh, thank you, Tina, <laughs> a bunch. You will probably not get a handwritten message from Motu, but who knows? <clears throat> then we have, of course, the, manu the manual. We got a USB cable, 
power cable and the unit itself. When you get any Motu unit, you will find this one, this sticker on top of it. It will give you all the instruction to uh, where to go to the site to download the software and of course to remove this before operating <laughs> the actual unit. In my case, there are going to be some added benefits to add this unit to my uh, 8 Pre ES. First of all, it's all the same line, AVB top line of Motu right now. Uh, aside from the much better conversion, which is what I wanted this for, this unit has 16 channels. We've seen the description where we were uh, Westlake with Matt. What I'm gonna be able to do is to remove the patch bay from here. And the reason why I will show you the SSL when I take it out from the desk is that the SSL connections are D sub, D25 sub, so the Tascam um, connection. This one, as you can see, it has all TRS input and outputs. So right now for me, in order to connect the other converter to the outboard, I had to run two snakes, actually four, uh, they go from D sub to TRS and then you use the patch bay to connect all the inputs of the uh, other converter, all the outputs, and then all the inputs and outputs of the outboard and mix and match these two rows, which is a pain in the ass to use the patch bay. It looks awful. as a lot of cables going on and some cable sometimes get loose on the back. It, it's it's really not the best solution, especially for a setup like this. So this is a very welcome added benefit from me. I will be able to remove four big snakes behind the desk and get rid of the patch bay altogether. And I will not need to use the, the patch cables to do the routing because this thing, it has a software and I can do it all inside the software. I will not touch a cable anymore when I want to connect this unit to this unit to that unit and run the vocals through it. I can do it all from the software inside and the AVB software can be controlled remotely. So I can even do it from my phone. That's pretty amazing. And, and on top of this, because of the AVB technology, I will be able to connect this to my 8 Pre ES with one Cat6 cable. Doesn't get any better than this. So. Uh, right now, I will start the hard part. I will remove all the cables from the patch bay, all the connections from the outboard, and hook this thing up. Let me show you. So, as I was saying before, these are the D sub connection. So, this converter doesn't have TRS. And these, I forgot, these were the ADAT cables that I had connected. So I had four snakes, input and output, input and output for the D sub, four uh, ADAT cables. And then I also had the clock cables. All these connections with this one will be switched to one cat cable. That alone <laughs> saves a lot of cables, a lot of space, a lot of money and for a better converter. Uh, this is still good, I mean, has been working for, for, for me very well up until now. It's just, uh, I, I want the same system and before I had two of these. So it makes sense right now to, to go with the Motu. I like it better, but uh, this is still a great converter, 24 channels and uh, yeah, anyway. All right, so just so you really understand how many cables we save with the AVB system and the CAT five or six cable, all these, so 16 cables, TRS with a D sub and all these ADAT cables and the clock cables, which is still here, all these are gonna be gone and substitute by one cat cable. So this is a lot of saving. <laughs> uh, these were all connected to the other converter, okay? And these were connected to the patch bay, so. All right, I removed the patch bay from the desk and um, now um, I'm gonna do something that I neglected. Last time I hooked this one up. 
which is I'm gonna label the cables. All the cables are labeled, power, cat cable, and Motu. Everything is hooked up. Let's turn it on. We can see it's locking. I recognize the 48K, which is my Pro Tools session open right now. AVB synchronization, there you go. Okay, now that the two units are connected via CAT cable, you can see the Moto Discovery app sees them both. 8 Pre ES, which is connected by USB to my computer, and the 16A. So we open the Pro Audio Control by clicking here. There's a browser app that controls everything about the units, all right? So here you can see in devices, I have the 16A and the 8 Pre ES. And by the way, if you weren't aware of it, if you didn't uh, watch the 8 Pre ES review, these interfaces are incredible. You can control everything from here, pads, phantom power, trim, everything remotely. And you can do it from your phone, from your laptop, from your tablet, whatever you want. So here I'm interested in going in the routing. And as you can see here, I have all my input and output, my digital patch bay, basically, all right? So uh, these are all my inputs on the top, all my outputs here on the left. And you can see I routed everything, phones from computer, mic instrument input to computer. And then here we have the 16A analog one to 16th. All right, they go to computer for streaming to the host, so Pro Tools. And then here from computer to AVB stream, all the 24 channels. And then on the 16A, we have here 8 Pre ES, analog, the source is the computer, these are my output, and then here AVB stream, analog 1 to 16. So the two units are now connected, they talk to each other, and at this point we go in the IO settings of Pro Tools, and you can see here, well, I already did it, but you just need to delete everything that is in the Pro Tools uh, IO tab and just click default and automatically you will have the first eight input and output of the 8 Pre ES or your first interface, whatever that is. And then all the AVB stream here from channel nine to 24. And that's pretty much it. Here I have my insert. And now as usual, I can insert anything I want just by clicking on it and my pull to EQ is in the chain, you will see here in the display input and output going. You can see. And then if I select the other two, again, in this case, they are unmatched because it's two different units. We go on the 1970 while the heritage turns on and you can see the unit, you can see the input and output here. And then I select now that is on the Heritage 609, let me link it, there you go. All right, so everything communicates perfectly. Display, I can see everything here. I can also control from the front panel if I wanna change anything, if I wanna change preset, if I wanna change the settings, the network, the clock mode, the sample rate, anything. So I can also control the unit from the front panel, but as we saw, the browser app works perfectly. You have everything in one screenshot. It's so very useful. So this is it for this video. This is my new multi-channel converter setup, the Moto 8 Pre ES and the new 16A. I'm extremely happy with them. They sound great and the routing is fantastic. I hope this video was useful. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. If you have any question, leave it in the comment down below. Links to both the unit in the info box down below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.